Good morning, students. I am on cloud nine to meet you in this uh, session of today. I welcome you all for this English class. Hope you are doing fine and staying safe at home. Enjoying the days with your parents. Hope your inmates are also doing fine, right? Right. You have done the one word test, and uh, I don't know whether you have any doubt regarding that. Very soon the key will be sent to you. Right. Now let us continue that lesson. That chat. Towards the end we are. We will just finish it off by today and proceed to the next class. Right. In page number one forty. Seven B A. That uh, right side, the second paragraph, second third paragraph. At an ungodly hour of in the night, there was a knock on the door. Everyone at home was fast asleep. I woke up, Padana. So, at uh, night, a knock is heard in the door. So. Because of fear, I just called my brother Pedana. So these two children knows very well that it is a demand for the uh, chair, right? Yeah, the few people from a household of bereavement stood outside for the chair. Pedana took them into the street. I too followed. They demand. They asked the chair since somebody has passed away. And uh, we took them to the street. When they finished telling us what they came for, Padana replied patiently, "Chair only? No, it isn't in our ma. It isn't our mamana's house. Go and ask him; he will give it." So they said. They told actually they told the lie that it is in mamana's house. It is not with them, and you go and get it from them. Knowing very well that that Mamana is a kind of stingy person, he will never give. After sending them off, we returned home chuckling noiselessly. When they went to Mamana's house, we were laughing like chuckling, laughing, laughing like anything, thinking of so many things. When we think of the word chair, a series of incidents comes to our house. The judge visiting us, the way he falls, and all these things. One by how we laughed. And how my sister, my brother, react as that uh, acted, how he has fallen. All these incidents comes one by one in our mind. And the plan that we made, the agenda we made for buying a chair, and how it is executed, the proposals that is given by all the inmates of the house, all these kind things comes one by one to our mind, and we chuckle noiselessly and we laugh because. Our, our mamanar will never give it to them because he is a stingy person, and he is just taking care of the chair just like uh, gold, right? Very, very, very. He considers it as a precious thing. So they we were laughing, tossing up. I asked sleepily, "Who was it?" So at that time, hearing our chuckle and the giggle, our father asked, "Who is that?" What else? Someone follows. Some fellows want our bullocks for threshing. These children told that lie that some people who else will come here other than this? Our some neighbors came here asking for the bullocks. That uh, what is the purpose of it? In olden days, when the field is uh, when the paddy is harvested, they used this um, bullocks for uh, threshing the hay, right? And they will be just moving around and around so that the hay will be just uh, thrashed and the remaining grains will fall down. All these things. But nowadays we are not familiar with all these things since we our the number of paddy fields in our area is less. Everything is occupied by human being by building houses right everywhere, complexes all these things. So we were a little new to this, but not we you people. Right. So he they said he said 
it is nobody else but in other areas Tirunelveli northern side of uh, Tamil Nadu we still have this cultivation right so who else will come there except uh, our neighbors who are asking for the bullocks for threshing for that harvesting purpose other than that nobody will come here pulling the bed sheet tightly over him Appa turned and went back to sleep in the deep sleep he did not bother about all these things so he just uh, thought that the what the children has said is correct and he just pulled up the bed sheet, bed sheet and uh, slept now it was raining in mamana's forest now the remaining is in mamana's house after many days when i visited so he might have went there these two people might have went there uh, might have gone there and asked for the chair and this children doesn't know what has happened after that so they thought that the father the mamana might not have given it to the children to that two people and uh, they just uh, imagined in some other way anyway they do not know what has happened in his house that is why they are saying now it will be raining in mamana's forest they will have nice fun there after many days when i visited mamana he was sitting on the floor preparing beetle leaves after a few days once i went to mamana's house and found that he was sitting on the floor so I thought that since he is a conjus person, he wanted to keep the chair very safe. He is not using it, just uh, keeping it for a, a show in the home. So I thought like that when he sat on the floor uh, preparing beetle leaves. He greeted me with his usual smile and banter. So when I went there, as usual, he greeted me and welcomed me. What is this? You are sitting on the floor. Where is the chair? I searched around. So in wonder, when I saw him sitting on the floor, I asked him, See, you are sitting on the floor. What happened to the chair? Where is the chair? And I was searching for it all around. Smearing the lime paste on the back of the bitter leaf, he looked intently at me and smiled. So he was just uh, rubbing that lime. Chunambu will say over the beetle leaf and he is looking at me and he is smiling. He then said very calmly, I asked them to keep the chair for that purpose alone. So that people came there on that day and they demanded the chair. I have given it to them and told them that they can keep it for this purpose alone. Anyway, you need one for that too, no? Anyway, our village need one chair for this purpose. So, I have wholeheartedly, magnanimously, I have given it to them. I did not know what to say. I was standing there, wonderstand. My thought, my view, my opinion about this the mamana is exactly, entirely different from the children's, the children's view. So, I was looking at him, astonishing. I hurried home to convey this news to Padana. So when I heard this, I could not tolerate his ideas, his views, his action, his deed. So I rushed back to Padana, my brother, to convey this news to him. But gradually, my steps slowed to, to an ordinary pace. I rushed and... Uh, when I come to a certain stage, I just slowly walk towards my home. Right. What do you learn from this lesson? The chair. So the situation in which our, even in this um, 20th century, 21st century, certain areas in our in the place is still there without proper furniture and facilities, basic needs of life. There are some people living without getting fulfilled with the basic needs of life. That is one thing. The other thing is, don't judge people by looking at them. He is a very, very conscious person, stingy person. He uses his things very carefully. But when he has the broad mind to 
see how much effort he has taken to get the chair but he has wholeheartedly given it to the village people to use it for the burial the final ritual right that is the lesson the chair hope you have understood it very well am i right children now let us come to the glossary section go, go through it very easy only it is and uh, come to the vocabulary area synonyms just as we thought our chuckle had subsided chuckle i told you already it is laughing subsided subsiding now the fever got subsided ah uh, diminished our father rejected it saying it won't be sturdy sturdy strong he is a sturdy man strong fellow anna would say with an impudent smile disrespectful smile disrespectful a silver tumbler of buttermilk seasoned with asafoetida what is uh, seasoned garnished garnished a few people from the house of bereavement stood alone grief now find out the antonym of the underlined word in each of the following sentences the anticipation of this imagined separation only increases their fondness for the calf anticipation ignorance fortuitously a guest visited our house unfortunately opposite there he was sitting in splendor on his chair splendor magnificence is the meaning simplicity is the opposite simplicity mamanar was unmatched inferior is the opposite inferior he greeted me with his usual smile and bat banter flattery opposite flattery flattery just uh, saying oh you are a very great person you are a very brilliant student to a child who is below average that is flattery right words can be combined to form compound nouns compound nouns often have a meaning that is different or more specific than the two separate words elements in compound nouns are very diverse parts of speech some compound words from the story have been listed below right see that um, now compound words store room store we store the things in that uh, place stored room you know room store room store is a noun room is also a noun you know the parts of speech what are the noun verb adjective adverb pronoun preposition conjunction and interjection and i have taught you a song and uh, i told you what is a noun verb adjective adverb all these things so store room is noun plus noun butter milk butter noun milk noun the second one diamond hard diamond is a noun hard hard work work is a verb hard is a word which qualifies that so it is a adjective noun plus adjective grandmother milk cow milk cow is a noun grandmother adjective adverb plus verb over step step is the verb adverb over step right now identify the correct combination of the following compound words hair cut hair is a noun cut is the verb so it is noun plus verb noun plus verb headmaster head noun master noun noun plus noun waterfall water is a noun fall is a verb noun plus verb swimming pool swimming is a gerund pool is a 
now gerund plus now draw back draw is a noun back is an adjective noun plus adjective public speaking public is a noun speaking is a gerund so noun plus gerund output out preposition put verb output is preposition plus verb software soft adjective soft skin soft adjective where noun adjective plus noun show cars verb plus verb world famous world noun famous adjective noun plus adjective right look at the following sentences from that text the whole house spluttered into jiggles before things settled down the word spluttered is the blended form of the words splash and splutter splash plus splut sputter is called spluttered this is blending blending right the portmanteau is a type of blend word in which the beginning of one word is combined with the final part of the other word let us take a look at some of the most common portmanteaus in english alpha numeric alphabetic plus numeric brunch break, breakfast plus lunch camcorder camera plus recorder camcorder mechatronics mechanics plus electronics newscast news plus broadcast smog smoke plus now blend the following words binary plus digit bit this already you have studied in 11th standard electronic plus mail email foreign plus exchange forex f o r e x motor plus pedal muffet parachute plus troop para troop the next one is euphemism last year you have learned what is euphemism euphemism is a polite word in the place of a harsh one right instead of saying that my that uh, my mother is a housewife you can say it as homemaker right homemaker homemaker is the euphemistic word of a housewife a polite word of saying things instead of saying died he passed away he died instead of that he passed away that is a euphemistic word right the term euphemism refers to polite indirect expressions that replace words and phrases considered harsh and impolite or it suggests something unpleasant so it is a word which is used in the place instead of a harsh word a polite word which is used in the place of a harsh one is called euphemism when we wish to refer to a person as an old we use the term senior citizen instead of old so instead of saying that he is an old man you can say that he is a senior citizen it is a polite word polite word euphemistic word of old is senior citizen the culprit was sent to jail instead of saying he is in jail we will look down upon the person who was there in the jail right since he, who will go to jail a person who commits crime right so instead of that uh, word jail the polite word for it is rehabilitation center r e h a b i L I T A T I O N Rehabilitation Center. J. Diraj is unemployed. Unemployed. He is there without any job. Unemployed. We will say usually a polite word for that is he is between jobs. Between job. Between job. Unemployed. I saw a disabled man. 
disabled differently abled differently abled i saw a blind man how will you say that word in that euphemistic word for blind physically challenged visually challenged visually challenged person blind subsidies are given to the poor 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 is a poor man he is common very commonly we use the term poor the uh, the euphemistic word for it is underprivileged underprivileged u n d e r p r i v i l e g e d elam radhi has a second hand car second hand second hand pre owned car pre owned right the pledge is also to treat the patients without any discrimination discrimination sorry right right there it uh, ends second hand pre wound now come to that uh, speaking section uh, what is a debate debate is a discussion in which speakers form two groups and argue in favor of or against a topic debates are conducted in lecture halls parliament legislative assemblies and public places commonly we used to say it as patimandalam right two groups will be there with the difference of opinion and they argue that what they have said is correct that is a debate so study that definition and the speakers from each group not only give reasons to support their argument but also counter the arguments made by the members of the opposite group you know what is that debate the topic is called emotion the procedure there are two teams each consisting of two or three speakers usually during this pongal all these days the salaman papai all these people uh, there is a fa- there will be a famous uh, debate in the tv so there are some rules for this um, debates that speakers must greet the chairperson judges and the audience that is the first thing the team supporting or opposing the motion must not change their point of view if they are supporting that topic they have to speak throughout supporting it they should not uh, uh, oppose that right they must stick on to that point if a speaker makes a statement he or she must be able to provide the evidence or reasons to support when they say some points they have to elucidate with certain incidents or points supportive points with examples the facts presented in the debate must be accurate it must be accurate speakers may not bring up new points in the rebuttal speech reinforce your points and conclude confidently they must conclude uh, their speech very confidently without uh, without getting oscillated points must be conveyed clearly and effectively without getting diverted from the main stream these are the points that we have to keep in mind when you participate in a debate some s- sample speeches are given below just go through it right then in page number 154 there is a chart read the following information given in the table below and answer the questions a nice choice from chennai to the national capital rajdhani express time table shortest route between chennai and hasrat nizamuddin eight halls and 324 intermediate stations in between 
Now go through the chart. First question, have you gone through it? Just note it. First question, the number of stations between Chennai Central and Hazrat Nizavreen is 5, 8, 10, 11. The number of stations, 8. The train is expected to reach around 8.45 p.m. Which place it is? 8.45? It is Nagpur. Between dash, the trains run at its maximum speed. Between Bhopal and Jansi. Almost dash, the train reaches Vijayawada. Almost around noon. People prefer the Rajadhani Express to travel from Chennai to reach the capital because, because it is the shortest route from Chennai to New Delhi. The destination of Rajadhani Express is Hazrat Nisamdi Nizamudi. Now, go through this uh, lesson, the chair, and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this, you just uh, ask me and get your things verified. Most probably, you won't have any problem with uh, English, I hope. If you have any doubt, ask me, I can verify it. There is an interactive section, session, which is... Um, given by the management and uh, just clear clear of your doubts in that session okay that uh, grammar area it is very easy thing that you have learned in second standard and third standard just we will touch it and proceed to the next in the next class okay children till then bye may god bless you thank you children